Good morning. Do you hear all the birds calling you? It's a very special morning. Haig Pesach Sameach to all who are celebrating the Passover. Yesterday evening, we went to Tiberias to join the volunteers at their place for the Seder. And when the first impression was that there wasn't a single car on the streets. It was shortly before 8 p.m. because everybody was at home. Everybody, everybody. There were just barely a couple of cars moving. Tiberius is a city like so many others. Lots of people, lots of activity around the clock. And for one moment there was nothing going on, hardly. Except in every home, having their celebrations. The Jewish people with their Seder. The Muslim people with their Ramadan. And the Christians today celebrating the Last Supper. these clovers down here. When I was a little child, my dad helped me appreciate the value of clover for pasture land. Clover has an extraordinary ability to bring nitrogen into the mix. There were three major fertilizers we used to to have and they would be brought separately from the store and they would be mixed in different proportions and one of them was nitrogen. It accelerates the growth of the grass. Another one was potash. And I think that came from the Dead Sea, actually. I didn't realize that at the time. And was it sulfates? Oh, Lord, I'm forgetting. So here we are today on Holy Thursday with special readings. And it's a perfect reading for all the biblical tradition because it's all about the Passover which is the context of the Last Supper. And it's a theme that's good for all of humanity, for all who are slaves, who are forced against their will, almost like machines. And as with all our advances in our society today, how many people have that type of pressure? Even in the very well-paid corporate ladder. And how it often crushes family life. And we long for freedom. <coughs> Those who toiled in the fields sowing the crops. I remember as a child watching the airplanes fly over. We weren't far from Shannon Airport, Galway Bay, the route of many international airlines back in the late 50s, early 60s, and thinking how wonderful it would be to Fly, fly away, fly far away, see other places. But then when I was working in Michigan, 
in youth work, got to know a family. Actually, the son was here recently. He's a priest now. And his dad was a major executive. And sometimes he would come into the sacristy and invite Father Lorenzo and us two seminarians to go to use their swimming pool. Father Lorenzo loved playing tennis, so to go and play tennis with him. But one day he said something when he came home exhausted from some meetings. He said, I can't wait to retire and to work on the yard and weed this garden and do some cement work and fix up the broken pathway. And I remembered my childhood weeding the gardens, the toil. It was not really drudgery, but it was hard work. It was tough on the fingers and the hands. Sorry. That was um, a pocket activated thing that started to play on my other phone that I don't, I use for texts when I'm doing the sunrise stroll and chat. And I just thought how he wanted to get down off that plane, that corporate jet, and just be in the garden. We have a longing for the garden since our creation longing for nature for the flowers we don't like the thistles except the scots the scots have their thistles on their identity this longing for freedom and sometimes we choose our slaveries but we're slaves there's a famous line we make our choices, but our choices make us. And they can make us free or make us slaves, make us more free, more human. The exodus, the pilgrimage of exodus, of the pilgrimage of freedom we have been doing. Coming forth from slavery. We all have our dependencies, our Foibles, and we tend to blame others, but oftentimes it's a freedom from our own habits, our own addictions. It's a big word, addiction, right? But it can be in simple things in our own lives, ways we behave and treat others, a need for gratifications, a need for affirmations, a need for controlling and imposing our little addictions, and all the marbles in that little puppy. Freedom, the great desire of the human heart. And then we go from freedom to dom dominion, dominating others sometimes to find that great integration of the dignity of our being as free, the dignity made in the image and likeness of God, not to be a slave of any creature. And then to serve others the washing of the feet, which is the other big theme today in the gospel reading. The one who was in charge, had all the dominion, even over the stormy sea. The feeding of the hungry, multiplication of the loaves, the raising of the dead, and he got down on a knee and bent over and washed the feet of his disciples, of those who called him Lord, Lord. Depart from me for I'm a sinful man. A 
And as you have seen me do, do likewise. And it's so hard for us to learn and to repeat and to live that lesson day after day, hour after hour, like parents with the little children serving, like teachers correcting exercises for their children, for the students, people writing books, manuals, writing code in high-tech companies, very monotonous, challenging, demanding work of concentration. The demanding work of science and research, of driving a bus every day on the same route, of loading a truck, of unloading it, with all the vegetables that come here to the supermarket every morning. How many people have provided and put a hand in our breakfast, packaging and delivering and sorting and price tagging and cash registry. Living all of this as a service to others and not as a slavery. as a part of the whole dynamic of interaction of love. That's the source of our universe, the source of our lives, the deepest identity we are. Thank you for joining us this morning here at Mount Hart Bell. There's a whole bunch of little midgets here dancing in front of the phone but I can't pick them up with the camera I don't think and now they've gone further away people God bless you have wonderful days of reflection of prayer with our creator and redeemer of kind gentle service in our families and where we need to serve today God bless you all